Review of P. Coffey's The Science of Logic by Ludwig Wittgenstein. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. In no branch of learning can an author disregard the results of honest research with so much impunity as he can in philosophy and logic. To this circumstance we owe the publication of such a book as Mr. Coffey's Science of Logic, and only as a typical example of the work of many logicians of today does this book deserve consideration. The author's logic is that of the scholastic philosophers, and he makes all their mistakes, of course with the usual references to Aristotle. Aristotle, whose name is taken so much in vain by our logicians, would turn in his grave if he knew that so many logicians know no more about logic today than he did 2,000 years ago. The author has not taken the slightest notice of the great work of the modern mathematical logicians, work which has brought about an advance in logic comparable only to that which made astronomy out of astrology and chemistry out of alchemy. Mr. Coffey, like many logicians, draws great advantage from an unclear way of expressing himself. For if you cannot tell whether he means to say yes or no, it is difficult to argue against him. However, even through his foggy expression, many grave mistakes can be recognized clearly enough, and I propose to give a list of some of the most striking ones and would advise the student of logic to trace these mistakes and their consequences in other books on logic also. The numbers in brackets indicate the pages of Mr. Coffey's book, Volume 1, where a mistake occurs for the first time. The illustrative examples are my own. Number 1, page 36. The author believes that all propositions are of the subject predicate form. Number 2, page 31. He believes that reality is changed by becoming an object of our thoughts. Number three, page six. He confounds the copula is with the word is expressing identity. The word is has obviously different meanings in the propositions. Twice two is four and Socrates is mortal. Number four, page 46. He confounds things with the classes to which they belong. A man is obviously something quite different from mankind. Number 5, page 48. He confounds classes and complexes. Mankind is a class whose elements are men, but a library is not a class whose elements are books, because books become parts of a library only by standing in certain spatial relations to one another, while classes are independent of the relations between their members. Number 6, page 47. He confounds complexes and sums. 2 plus 2 is 4, but 4 is not a complex of 2 and itself. The list of mistakes could be extended a good deal. The worst of such books is that they prejudice sensible people against the study of logic. Ludwig Wittgenstein